Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. So, today is day three of the uh, 31 in 31. So, we are running through a series of creating 31 tags in 31 days. Uh, I think I might have bitten off more than I can chew, but we'll see. We'll give it a go. Um, there is a few giveaways um, attached to this. One of them is in our Facebook group, and that is um, to complete each of the 31 tags and post them in the Facebook group, and you've got a chance of winning a DIY journal, which will be fabulous to keep all of those tags that you've created. Um, and there'll also be a second and third prize, which will be a copy of the Simple Daisy Kit that I'm using for this series. Um, for the YouTube giveaway, um, all the details will be in the description box below, but basically you need to subscribe, like, and comment on each of the 31 videos in order to go into a prize draw. And that will be to win a full journal, um, which contains all of the 31 tags that we've completed today. Uh, I've given a picture of the journal in day one so if you are interested then pop over and have a little look all of the videos will be in a playlist okay so without further ado let's get started so day one we did a paper bag tag day two we did a notebook tag and today we're going to do a fabric tag now you can do this one of two ways you can just use the fabric and get a backing that resembles um, the shape of a tag or you can use fabric um, on top of a piece of card which is what I think I'm going to do just because it adds that extra bit of um, stability to your tag otherwise it would be flopping all over the place literally. So what I'm going to do with this one is I haven't prepped it I am going to, um, I've tried to prep some of them so that I've, you're not hanging around while I waste time doing all sorts of weird and wonderful um, prepping stuff. Um, what I am going to do is literally do this one in real time and I'm just going to go with what's on my desk. So... I'm going to use this glue actually because we're going to be stitching so there's no need to use Fabri-Tac for that. I'm using this piece here just as a bit of a base uh, to build on and I'm going to do the same down here, put a piece of this over here just as a bit of a base and that's what we're going to do. We're going to literally just build on this with what we've got in our scrap box. So this is the scrap box here. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just literally going to go with what I've got in here and hope for the best. Something like that anyway. Um, got some material, got some more scraps, some more some more plain material and some more of that and that and that so let's have a go at using what we've got this is all a bit gooey but it's okay And I'm not overthinking it either. I'm just literally placing some materials on top of others, on top of others, just to give a patchwork kind of look. Mm -hmm. 
and it doesn't have to be fancy, straight, anything. Literally just whatever you feel goes when you're putting all of this together. So I've got some of this which might be a bit thick, but I wouldn't mind a little bit of it there. And again, no particular rhyme or reason. We're just popping on some of this lace as we go. It's looking pretty bad at this point, and that is okay. I don't think I need that. That is really, really okay. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this from behind. So that we've got the shape of the tag. Does that? Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just quickly stitch around the edges. Okay, so all I have done is I have stitched around like a what do they call them? The Franken type stitching. I think that's what they call her, is it? As I said, there's other ways you could have done this. You could have just literally done it on a piece of material backing. Would have been a little bit harder to do, I think, um, just purely because you didn't have that back section to work with. Um, I think, yeah, I think it might have been a little bit tougher to do that. But if that's what you kind of fancy, then have a go. <clears throat> the other thing you could have done was a little bit extra <clears throat> and folded it up so you would have had a tag, um, not a tag even, a pocket. Um, I am going to back this again just so it gives us um, gets rid of some of this because some people I love it some people probably aren't so fast so if we get rid of that and then while that is drying I'm just going to grab some tags of it here um, one, two, and I should also have somewhere, yeah, I think, I'm going to do a couple of tags on there, and I should have in here, this is one I made earlier, these are just a few of the pieces that I'm using to build uh, the journal up a little bit so it's not you don't get a kind of blank blank journal if you know what I mean if you know what I mean so these are just two little butty little tags which I think are super cute 
and they do actually provide a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of journal space. I could be uh, stretching it a bit there though. Uh, could well and truly be stretching that a bit. So we're going to go with, we've got our butterfly. I'm going to go with a tag and a tag. I'm going to cut this off here. Probably would have been better to have backed this um, before we put the material on. And I know there's a load of you that are probably saying, yep, yeah, that's right, Sherlock. So we'll just give this a little bit of ink. So we've got our theme going throughout. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put another brad in. No, nope, another. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk at the moment. I'm going to put another eyelet in. And then hopefully we should be able to attach that little, those little charms. You can add buttons, you can literally play to your heart's content with these but I probably will stamp that a little bit just to give it a little less plainness on the tags because I think they're perhaps a little bit too plain yeah I think they are let me do that quick just a little bit that I've got left on here I'm going to work with that. It would be so much quicker to just take the top off and start again. But there we go. So we've got two little tags and a butterfly and on our fabric tag. Um, and as I said, if you make this a little bit, make your tag a little bit um, longer and decide on your fold line. And then instead of putting your fabric on the front, put your fabric on the back, flip it up and sew it on. You're going to give yourself a nice little pocket there as well. But just really nice, cute little fabric tag to add to your journals. So that is day three of 31. Oh, my goodness. Three of 31, we've still got a long way to go. But um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget, if you want to be in with a, a chance to, for the giveaway of the journal, including all of these tags, then you need to uh, subscribe and you need to then like and comment on each of the 31 videos. I know it seems like a lot. You will have some time to catch up. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll leave it there and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Until then, stay safe and I'll speak soon. Bye for now.